What's up, y'all? Back at it again with another video. And this week, we are gonna unbox a Swatch, Maxi Watch. The Swatch Watch, the Maxi Watch. Yes, like, I feel like that's so underrated. I know it was a big thing in like the 80s and the 90s. I'm surprised they're not more popular than what they are. I can't find a good video on the Maxi Watch at all, like, you know, like a whole full unboxing. So I'll step up and gladly do that myself. Now, a Swatch Watch is a brand and the Maxi, watch is a regular watch just six foot and it's six so i can't wait to get into this and i'm actually going to replace my mickey mouse watch on the wall that i have right here it's a big it's a big box it's a big box but look skip all that we're gonna go ahead and unbox it and you'll see exactly what i'm talking about so we're gonna get into the unboxing right now let me go grab that box This is it, the big box. I did thoroughly spray this box down with hella Lysol. Be right back. Ah, jeez. It's a lot bigger than what I thought it would be. Put this up to you guys can see it. little carrying handle let's open this up oh shit sorry okay. damn sorry again okay all right all right let's get a better look at this all right. so here's the face Where the battery goes. Right there. Ah. right there, here's the straps. Anywho. Ah. Nice. Nice. Oh. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take these wrappers off. Doesn't really bend, well, it kind of does, but I'm kind of afraid to bend it to where, like, if I do bend it, it might break. Yeah, here's the bottom. I actually kind of like how it has this, like, black little stripe going on to the side right there. I think that's cool. Now we have the top part with the band. Huh? Came off like butter. This goes at the top of the watch. Is this realistic? I guess they kind of try to make it realistic as much as possible. That black stripe is still continuing up here on this band too. It does move. But I want to be careful because I don't want to break it though. I kind of want to put it together and see if it like wraps around. But I'm kind of scared because this feels like the plastic that will break and crack. So I kind of don't want to test my luck. I kind of want to test it at the same time. Probably won't. This moves too, but I'm kind of nervous moving this back and forth because this looks like it would kind of scratch up the, you know, plastic here, and I don't want to do that. All right, now let's see the face. I like the face because it's clear, and I love color block, and I love the color scheme. Now, it might be glaring a little bit. Got some foam in there, padding. I'm gonna try to open this up and try to take it out. How do I get in there? How do I, oh, how do I get in there? I, mm. This actually came with a little clear piece. I don't know what this does. Wait, oh, this goes on the side. You know the little, the little dial when you turn it and you set it? Let me read these directions. That's probably what I should do before I crack and break this plastic by accident. Okay. Hmm. But how do I open up the face? Let me see something. All right, so how to take this face off. 
you want to twist it right so this latch to take the face off all you got to do is twist it and to put it back on all you got to do is twist it back okay that locked in these pins are actually there to hook on the straps you have to be very careful because as much as these cost and honestly they should be a better quality the plastic should be way better to be honest but you want to be careful go ahead and put the stick through the holes I'm not gonna lie it's kind of hard to put in the fuck it's a lot harder to put in than what I thought it would be Be careful and make sure you put like some something down so you're not scratching the face as well. Like a towel or something. I'm on carpet and my carpet I don't really do too much over here anyway so I'm not worried about it. But just be careful scratching the face up. You need one AA battery. Hey, got it working. Now we got this figured out. Let's go put this on the wall. <sighs> now that we finally got the straps on. You know, if you know, then you know that can be difficult too, but that's besides the point. Anyways, now that we've got the straps on, yeah. now to get the clock working, all you got to do is put a double A battery in, and this is how you move the hands to set the time. All right, now, let's get this thing on the wall. Goodbye, Mickey Mouse watch. It was a lot bigger than what I thought it was gonna be. Hmm. Eh, I don't know how I feel about it. It's a lot bigger than what I thought it was gonna be. I guess it kind of goes with my other junk. Still. I'd like to say thank you so much for watching my videos. And if you see anything that I need to improve on, I've been meaning to put this in my videos, but if you see anything that, you know, any good um, constructive criticism or anything that you see that I should probably work on a little more, uh, comment below and let me know, or just inbox me or anything. Just let me know. And thank you so much, so much for watching my videos. And yeah, I'll see you next video. Wait. I don't know how to end this. If you like what you see, like and subscribe. And I will see you next video. Peace. You know, we always gotta stay strapped.